Hey, this is God's Pats Lee channel, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get US apps on your UK account on iTunes. Um, I live in the UK, um, right, at, um, basically, and um, I found an app, it's called Dragon Go, um, it's a little like Siri um, on the new iPhone 4S, but I don't have an iPhone 4S, I have an iPod Touch 4th generation, and I want to be able to get an app really similar to it and I've been looking at videos on it and like uh, seeing if Siri will ever come out for the iPod and stuff um, and Siri could come out on the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 4th gen um, I've got a website in the description called www.appleinfoblog.webs.com the link will be in the description if you want to find information about Apple um, but Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get apps um, off the US store. Um, I live in the UK. Um, I also have a UK email um, signed up with iTunes. And if ever, if I try and install a US app, it says I can't. Or if I try and change to the US store, it won't allow me to do it because it says um, I live in the UK and I don't have money on it and stuff like that and it will spoil that you change it to a US store so what you do is you open up your iTunes, I'm already signed out but basically what you do is you sign out then you scroll down to the bottom and click on this little icon of the flag you click on it and then it will take you to this and then you just select the United States um, also if you live in a different country but there's an app only available for example in Iceland or something like that um, you can easily just select Iceland or whatever other country you want to select instead you don't have to always select the United States but this is the uh, main one people choose so once you've got here onto the United States I'll even scroll down to the bottom so it has the um, flag what you want to do is you want to search for a random app um, what is free so I'm just going to go to the app store and I'm going to just go entertainment you have to find like a free app what you can get for free so here I found like a free app it could be any app of your choice and what you do is click on free and when you click on free it says would you like to create a new iTunes store account um, and or sign in and what you do want to do is you want to click create new account um, I've got you explained now yeah the whole reason for selecting a free app to download and then creating a profile it will come clear in a second what I'll quickly show you um, once you get to this stage here you put your email address in you want your password you verify your question date of birth and all that stuff I'm just going to put some random email address in because I'm lazy basically um, oh god I've spelled that wrong <laughs> There we go, um, just gonna put some random stuff in, just gonna put a random date in here, and click continue, and I've already been, that's already been taken, and this is being awkward, just gonna quickly redo this. Trying to figure a random password doesn't want like it for some reason. Oh. This isn't like the password. Hopefully this would work. Password speed is eight characters, including a number. Oh, I haven't got a number in it. Okay, let's just put a number in continue here we go then once you get to this pa page right here it says payment effort payment method for your cards you don't want to put your card details in because the moment you put uh, an international company credit card in it will automatically um, take you to where you got your country or wherever you got your credit card from what could be the UK or any other country wherever you're living at the moment um, but if 
and here it says none and basically you just select the icon that says none um, if you just go onto the US store and then, sign, and then create a new profile when you try creating a new profile when it says credit card yeah it won't give you to won't, won't give you the option what says none so that means they force you to put your credit card details that's why you have to go and click download free app once you've done that you can just ignore the code you select like a random title put like a random name random there um, I'm just going to put some random thing I put New York when I created my US one random there to make some random number that has to be like three letters in there I think it's seven in there then zip has to be can't remember how many that can I'd put this um, you know um, just typing this in if I click continue um, here it is must have five in it digits. Like that, continue. And basically, I've just created it. This will pop up here. You go to your email address, basically verify it. Then you click done. Then you basically, um, and then basically, there you go. You can sign in, download the apps, what you like. Then sign out, plug your iPod or iPhone, any of your devices in, sync it, it'll put it onto the App Store, um, onto your iPod. But if it says, um, if a pop-up does pop up saying um, you need to have it verified that you can um, that um, the, e the second email address you activated is allowed to put apps onto your iPod and basically to do that you just click when you're signed in to well this or whatever you created you go to store then it says here and it should say authorize this computer and you basically click authorize this computer then it will allow you to use your apps from your US email um, address basically what you just created and then that's basically how you do it um, and basically what before you plug in your iPod and sync it I recommend signing out so then it keeps your UK or whether you or your Iceland or Australia or, what, or whatever email address you have set up on iTunes or on your iPod okay um, okay thanks for watching Scars Plat Sleep channel and I'll, I'll quickly show you this that there's the app right there um, okay so thanks for watching Scars Plat Sleep channel and see ya